Gangwon-do province is striving to take the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics to the next level with the authentic taste of Korea. Learn more about the local specialties and Olympic special dishes the province has to offer. Hwangtae is the ultimate gift of harsh winter. Find out how this versatile ingredient and traditional delicacy is produced. Forget old perceptions that temple cuisine is bland and boring. Four Angles delves deeper into the magic of Korean temple food. Experience the real Korea at Cheongsang Arirang Market in Cheongsang, Gangwon-do Province, where the alpine skiing events are set to take place. The whole world is zooming in on Pyeongchang in anticipation of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. As if to meet the world's growing interest, Gangwon-do province is striving to make the Olympics totally unforgettable with many delicious Olympic special dishes. Take a glimpse of the taste of Gangwon-do province. Gangneung City in Gangwon-do province is famous for its deep and blue sea. This traditional Korean restaurant in Gangneung has been satisfying taste buds for the last five decades, but has become more popular in recent months thanks to new dishes created last year. The main ingredient is tofu. Unlike other coastal cities, Gangneung's signature dish is not of seafood, but the simple handmade tofu. Called chodang sundubu in Korean, the city's soft tofu is known for its silky texture and nutty flavor. Gangneung's tofu is made of soybeans cultivated in Gangwon-do province and salt water from the East Sea. This restaurant is also famous for its tofu's hamap or tofu trio. The trio consists of freshly made tofu, boiled pork slices, and finally, kimchi for the ultimate finishing touch. The chodang sundubu and tofu's hamhap together offer the zenith of tofu. This restaurant has a menu for foreign customers. How did they enjoy the food? Sundubu is really soft and I read in the menu about the history that it's made with ocean water, so the salt content makes it a little bit unique to other sundubu. Yeah, it's really good. The pork, it has a, um, a very uh, chewy taste, but it's still, it's chewy but soft. Uh, and then the kimchi brings a nice, uh, like kind of sour, vinegary, spicy flavor to it. And then the dubu finishes it off with a, a nice cleansing, um, uh, palate taste to it. Uh, so it's, it, they all work well together, I think. The three host cities of Pyeongchang 2018, Gangneung, Pyeongchang, and Cheongsan, have been jointly developing 30 new dishes in time for the Olympics. Pyeongchang presented pasta with buckwheat flour and bibimbap, mixed rice with fresh salad, while Cheongsan made creative use of tadak bonnet bell flower root, and wild greens. Using the traditional specialties, the new dishes display not only the taste, but also the clean nature of Gangwon-do province. This restaurant has been drawing a lot of foreign customers recently with this fusion dish, creamy potato ongshimi pasta, or creamy potato dough pasta. Potato ongshimi, requires a lot of time and effort to cook. First, potatoes have to be grated, drained, and squeezed to separate potato water from the masses. Then the masses are mixed with the potato starch at the bottom of the bowl to make a potato dough. It's totally worth the labor because it presents a soft texture and gentle flavor that caress the palate. There's another way of enjoying tofu in Gangneung. The secret is to fry it and add fresh salad. 
Then it turns into nice and healthy tofu salad. 우리 지역을 대표해서 이분들한테 좋은 음식을 제공을 해드리면 저희도 성공적인 올림픽을 위해서 어떤 그런 분담을 하는 게 아닐까 생각을 하면서 이 메뉴를 고민해서 지금까지 이제 이렇게 만들어서 드리고 있거든요. Creamy potato ongshimi pasta and tofu salad have already become the signature dishes of the restaurant. Drawing more and more foreign customers. Ongshimi in pasta penetrates with cream sauce and texture is so fantastic. It seems like jelly. 외국인분들의 의견이라든가 관광객 의견을 좀 반영을 해서 지금 음식보다 조금 더 보완할 점 보완하고 발전시킬 수 있는 부분을 발전을 시켜서 강릉의 정말 강릉을 대표하는 음식으로 정착할 수 있도록 강원도 province is determined to spread its unique regional taste to the entire world with the new Olympic special dishes. Food captures the culture, history, and nature of a country. The Olympic special dishes will be sure to offer a delicious glimpse of Korean culture and Korean food on the global stage. The colder the weather, the deeper the flavor. It's dried pollock or pangte in Korean, a specialty of Gangwon-do province where the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics is taking place. Let's learn more about the culinary delights of Gangwon-do province through pangte. This is a mountain village in Injegun, Gangwon-do province at the tail end of Seoraksan Mountain. The village is called Yongdaeri. It's one of the largest Hwangtae producing areas in Korea with 70% of the country's production. Yongdaeri 전체에서는 3천만 마리 정도, 약한 3천만 마리지 우리 덕장에서는 대한 20만 마리 정도 됩니다. Every October, the people of Yongdaeri build wooden structures using pine wood. Then they hang pollock on them in December when temperatures drop below 0 degrees Celsius. Due to the fluctuating temperatures, the pollock freeze at night and thaw during the day. After three to four months of waiting, the flesh becomes yellowish with a delicious, chewy texture. There are some rules to follow when hanging pollock on the structures. The history of Huangte farms in Yongdaeri dates back to the early 1960s. Huangte were a local specialty in Hamgyeongdo province in North Korea. After the outbreak of the Korean War, some locals escaped to the south and then established Huangte farms on their new hometown to make a living. <laughs> 명태를 걸다 보니까 이북처럼 춥지 않으니까 이제 추운 곳을 찾아 다니다 보니까 여기가 바닷가에서 제일 가깝고 기온도 많이 떨어지기 위해서 여기를 택했습니다. This factory processes the huangte and prepares them for sale. The first step is to remove the dust and impurities from the drying process. Then the fish are beaten until flattened. After that, the huangte are either split or torn into strips. All the procedures are done by hand. Huangte는요 이렇게 생선의 결이 있듯이 결대로 찢어야 되는데 기계 같은 경우는 결을 잘 모르고 일정한 간격으로밖에는 할 수가 없잖아요. 그래서 이 황태는 다 수작업을 통해서 해요. This procedure requires thorough attention and care, as it's crucial to the taste and texture of huangte. 단백질이나 미네랄 뭐 그런 필수 아미노산 같은 게좀 함량이 많다 보니까 좀 구수한 맛이 다른 데하고 좀 다른 것 같아요. Huangte attracted many visitors to Gangwon-do province. 
Thanks to its nutritional value and taste, Pangte are now exported to the U.S., Vietnam, and many other countries. Befitting the home of Huangte, there are many restaurants in the area offering a range of authentic Huangte dishes. Huangte are truly versatile with a rich flavor gained from enduring harsh winter conditions. Ground Huangte seasoned with red pepper powder, soy sauce, and salt. This dish is part of Korean royal cuisine served to the king. The minimum seasoning accentuates the natural flavor of Huangte. Here, the locals make bulgogi, beef marinated with soy sauce, with pangte. Soaked and marinated in soy sauce, corn syrup, garlic, and sesame seed oil, the sweet yet savory flavor of Huangte Bulgogi perfectly satisfies the palate of foreign visitors. Huangte soup is probably the most well known Huangte dish found all across Korea. The recipe is simple saute Huangte strips and bite sized pieces of daikon radishes in sesame oil. Then add water and let it simmer to bring out all the flavors from the Huangte. Then garnish with salt for a delicious bowl of Huangte soup. That's not all. Huangtejeon, or pan fried Huangte coated in egg and flour, offers a heavenly taste. <laughs> Huangte offers a new side of Korean cuisine, lesser known to the world. With authentic qualities, it will sure to satisfy the visitors of Pyeongchang 2018. Gangwon-do province has been preserving the legacy of Huangte producing for six decades. Its deep, authentic flavor will mesmerize the world very soon. The Pyeongchang Winter Olympics is drawing the world's interest to Korean traditional culture. Along with the craze, Korean temple cuisine is receiving a lot of attention for its clean taste and health benefits. From the cultivation of individual ingredients to preparing the food, the entire process is seen as a part of Buddhist practice. Find out more about Korean temple cuisine. Pekdamsa Temple is located deep inside Desorak. With 1,000 years of history, this temple is famous for its ideal environment for meditation. They're here to experience Paru Gongyang, the ritual of eating food at Buddhist temples. The word Paru refers to a set of bowls consisting of a rice bowl, soup bowl, side dish, and a water bowl named chonsu paru. Food is placed on the bowl, enough to fill the stomach, but not enough to result in any leftovers. At the sound of chukbi, a bamboo clapper, people start eating. In Buddhism, the everyday act of eating or sleeping is considered a part of practicing discipline and self-control. Also, Buddhists have to eat quietly and chew with their mouths closed. Buddhist 
그걸 음식을 약으로 먹고 이거를 다른 사람들에게 중생들에게 되돌릴 수 있는 해양할 수 있는 이런 마음으로 어, 먹는 것이 음식이다 이렇게 보면 될것 같습니다. Because Buddhists deeply respect creation and the spirit of frugality, they avoid wasting even a single grain of rice. 음식이 오기까지 힘써준 모든 사람들과 살아있는 존재들에 대한 감사 이런 걸 느낄 수 있고 또 모든 사람이 나 혼자 배부르게 잘 먹고 잘 사는 게 아니라 다 같이 같은 음식을 골고루 같이 나와 모든 사람을 생각하는 그런 상생의 정신, 그런 평등의 정신 그런 걸 한번 되새길 수 있을 것 같습니다. This is the Korean traditional food street built in front of the w o l j o n g s a Temple, and in time for Pyeongchang 2018. There's a temple food restaurant in this street as well, which opened this store in June last year. 우리나라에서도 어, 사찰에 가면 음, 반찬은 딱 정해져 있는데 사찰 음식은 옛날에 궁중 음식처럼 다양한 음식들이 많다라는 것을 여기에서 많은 홍보를 하기 위해서 준비되어 있습니다. n u n j a y o n g the chief priest of k u k l a k s a Temple, is taking the helm of this restaurant. She's a temple food master that has prepared such banquets for many guests of state and IOC members during their visits to Korea. n u n j a y o n g is changing public perception of temple cuisine with wild greens and vegetables from o d e s a n Mountain. Also, the cooking process remains as natural as possible to bring out the true flavors. This restaurant serves a variety of mushroom dishes. Since temple cuisine prohibits any kind of meat and fish products, mushrooms have long been a good source of protein for monks and nuns. 스님들께서도 버섯을 정말 많이 드시고 어, 수행하는 데 있어서도 버섯이 영양분부터 비타민, 단백질 모든 것을 다 아우르는 음식이라서 어, 버섯을 중심으로 저희가 선택을 한 겁니다. Using mushrooms, n u n c h a y o n g developed her signature dish called pine mushroom clay pot rice. It tastes heavenly. with a wonderful mix of fragrant pine mushrooms and sesame seed oil. Temple-style dumpling hot pot is the most popular dish at the restaurant. Although the dumplings are made of vegetables only, they still offer a deep flavor, and the hot soup is just perfect for the cold season. Then, how does it taste? 뭐 마늘 그런 거 하나 감이 되지 않게 자연식으로 이 음식을 먹으니까 그 제가 건강해지는 것 같아요. 아니 미혼진가 아니 한국 음식 아니 요리 싫어하는 사람은 뭐 김치도 야근이 그치가 싫어하는 거네. 아니 뭐 이미지 적인. 그러니까 본토니 미혼 가이타 때와 고유 약사 본토니 카라다니 요리가 있는데 그는 이쪽으로 가이트 세수는 신나서 세수. 스카르다 때와 소피 홍보. Korean temple cuisine exemplifies the saying, a healthy body is a healthy mind. With its natural flavors, temple food cleanses both the body and soul. Temple cuisine embodies the spirit of community and peace, much like the Olympic spirit. It is sure to fuel the Olympic craze even more and make foreign visitors fall deeper in love with Korea. c h e o n g s a n in Gangwon-do province is one of the host cities of Pyeongchang 2018, where the alpine skiing events are set to take place. The city has many must-see attractions. c h e o n g s a n Arirang Market, however, is second to none. Let's visit c h e o n g s a n Arirang Market to experience authentic Korea. c h e o n g s a n is a small city in Gangwon-do province with a population of 40,000. As opposed to its usual quiet atmosphere, the city is brimming with visitors from all across the country. 
because it's the day Cheongsan Arirang Market takes place. This market is a traditional five-day market held on any day ending in a two or seven. It has the nostalgia and pure environment of an old Korean market where customers bargain and ask for extras in a friendly manner. Officially gained the name Cheongsan Arirang Market in 1966 to become what it is today, keeping the spirit of Arirang alive. Given its long history and tradition, the market makes up an important part of the merchants' lives as well. Cheongsan Arirang Market boasts a unique look at traditional, authentic regional character. From dry thistle to bell flower root, to potatoes, medicinal herbs, and more, the market offers all kinds of vegetables. It's no wonder many tourists come a long way to purchase these products. The merchants are wearing badges around their necks stating Shintoburi. The badge has been granted to the merchants who sell their own produce at the market. <laughs> Koreans emphasize the importance of local food. Plus, prices are reasonable as the products come directly from producers, giving people more than enough reasons to visit the market. Like all traditional markets, this place also offers a cornucopia of traditional Korean snacks and foods. There are also many restaurants that offer an authentic glimpse of Korean cuisine with Cheongsan's local specialties. Gondure namulbap, or rice with seasoned thistle, is surely the most popular dish. The rice soaks up the flavor of the thistle as it cooks, and with the sauce, the dish offers a wholesome, delicious medley. It's healthy, filling, and easy to digest. Kotengchigi noodles is another one of the must-eat dishes in Cheongsan. Kotengchigi means hitting one's nose in Korean because the thick, chewy noodles tend to end up on the nose. <laughs> also, Memil Chambyong or buckwheat crepe stuffed with a kimchi filling and Susu Bukumi or millet pancake filled with bean paste are also famous delicacies of Cheongsan. The market recently welcomed many foreign visitors, including IOC related personnel, as Pyeongchang 2018 draws near. So we've been visiting the uh, the Olympic venues and uh, uh, they're all in uh, very good condition, very looking very uh, very good for the games. So now we've come to have a look around the uh, the marketplace and uh, experience some of the, the culture of Korea. Uh, if tourists want a, an authentic experience of Korea, then I think the market is a great uh, great opportunity to see uh, see the real Korea. The local government presented English menus and signs, and even taught the merchants how to communicate better in English for the upcoming Olympics. With Pyeongchang 2018 as momentum, 
The market is aiming to become a new tourist destination in Korea. Cheongsan Arirang Market offers an intriguing depth of Korean tradition and culture, which can be found within the labyrinth of traditional markets. It will surely enhance the fun at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics.